All right, let's kick it into high gear. Florence, let's see what you're made of. What makes you an impactful game? Yeah, so shout out to Spelt Wrong Brit, who in the clutch last night uh, answered my, my call of distress of figuring out how to get my phone screen on my computer so I could stream. Because I didn't want to just do it from my phone, because then you couldn't see my beautiful face. And I know that's like, that's why you come to the stream, you know what I mean? Five years old, Lawrence Eo. This is kind of hard. I want to look at the, the screen. It's kind of hard to do that with my phone. We've got all brushing mechanics here. Into top teeth, to bottom teeth. You know, this is a lot of people ask me what is uh, a good. Oh, this is what is a good first game to play? Like if they don't play video games, maybe Florence is sort of a good game to get you in there. Yeah, this app rocks so wrong, right? I have to think of like if there's other mobile games. Well, I'm making a mobile game right now um, with Level X. Uh, so when that releases, I would love to stream that. So this could be a really great one. Is that enough time to floss? Who flosses? Come on, we've got time for that. Okay, so we're swiping here. Uh, yeah, we like it. I like her. No, you don't put a couple's picture on it. You know what I mean? Then I don't know who I'm looking at. I've never done any dating swiping games because I already started dating my girlfriend who would become my wife by the time like they became popular. So I don't even know what this is. Now it's a salad. Like I just like the salad. Is this Instagram? Maybe it's Instagram. Okay. And we'll, then we'll like everything. Yeah, so not just me, right? I'm on an awesome team, um, but it is like the first game that I'm involved in the creation of, and it is so cool. It's uh, for medical education. Um, I can't say too much about it, but it's like, it's really, the process is just incredible um, to see how brilliant these designers are, and these developers, these engineers, these artists, and then, you know, the medical team, and how we can all kind of work together to make something. It's really, it's really fun. Oh, thanks. I'm going to turn the music down a little bit. Um, let me know if that's better with the music. Yeah, we need testers for sure. For sure. I'll keep you guys in mind. Uh, what am I doing here? Uh-oh. Oh, oh, it's a matching game. What if this was work? Just matching numbers. 2.30. So could I, I could have chose to hung up. Very interesting. I'm fine. Nothing, just work. Oh, I like this. Let's be nice. Be nice to our mom. Talk to you later. might want to still lower it. It's so crazy. It's like every game is different. Like sometimes I'll like think, like I'll have it right now, it's like a third of the way full, the volume bar. And like in the past, that's been really, really quiet. But I guess it just depends on the game. Yum, I want sushi. Much better. Okay, cool. I will never get the volume right, right away. That's what I have you guys for. All right, there we go, full day. Started brushing, ending brushing. Need those shiny teeth. This is cool, this is cool. Is this like dreaming? Okay, Nick, thank you for the lurk. Yeah, guys, we appreciate lurkers here. We appreciate chatters here. Just appreciate you. Florence is a little seven-year-old. Oh, this is awesome. This is like, 
what I do with my daughter on the reg. Beautiful. I actually just got, my, my daughter's been really into Moana recently. So I just bought her for her birthday. It was just her birthday, her two-year-old birthday. Just bought her a boat with a bunch of little action figures that came on it. She's super into boats and the ocean and anything Moana's interested in. Whoa. That's my boat and I'm sticking to it. Moana, let me tell you, in my house, like Moana is almost playing at a constant. It's not, we don't always have the TV on, but like we have watched Moana, at least parts of it, like probably a thousand times. And I never get sick of that movie. It is just such a fantastic movie. Oh, this is cool. Gotta express myself here a little bit. A seven-year-old Florence. That, so we're really into Moana and we're really into Zootopia. Um, especially baby Judy Hopper, Judy Hops in the beginning, we call her Judy Hopper. And what else are we into? Frozen, but like, honestly, mainly, oh, and Big Hero 6. I really like Big Hero 6. The fan theory, I know like the Pixar fan theory, but not, I know like Moana's not Pixar, so I don't know the Moana fan theory. Is it that Moana leads into something else? Maybe I did hear it. My mom making me do work. Uh-oh, I'm on the spot. My intelligence on the spot on the channel. I don't, I don't like this. Okay, good. I think I'm just doing the same thing over and over. Oh, no, I'm not. Oh, plus five. Whew. That was tough, guys. Math is not my best subject. She didn't make it past the first storm in her whole journey. Was her traveling to the afterlife and Maui was her angel? No. No, I can't take that. Now when we watch it, I'm gonna be aware of that. No, 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 no. Don't do that to me. If I tell my daughter that, I'm like, I got something bad to tell you about Moana. This is like WandaVision. No, it's unacceptable. That is That will remain a fan theory. We will not grant it privileges of becoming anything more than a fan theory. But you know what? I think they're making a Moana TV show now on Disney Plus. So I think that might, uh, maybe that'll prove it or that'll disprove it. Or it'll just feed the fire. What is in the box? No. Uh -oh. Oh, what happened to our phone? Our phone changed. How'd that happen? Oh, it switched. Orientation. Like this. Hey, Red Derp. Welcome to the stream. I'm so happy to be playing Florence. It has been on my list for a long time, but I think I, my phone just like switched orientation. Okay, I need to have, oh, so we just need to um, make sure that we can see that. That might be kind of tricky, but that's okay. Put that there, put that there. Okay, sweet. Um, yeah, the game was off center for a second. Oh, Enos! <laughs> I was like, red derp. Enos, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Um, yeah, you guys, actually, Enos, guys, of Off the Beaten Track, go check out my interview with her and uh, her co-developer, co-worker, um, creating the game Off the, creating the game The Cost of Recovery. Fascinating game about a family who, uh, whose son suffers from a stroke and sort of their experience with that. But I think it was either Jens or Enos on that interview who talked about Florence, and I'm like, okay, I got to play this game. Oh, here we go, back to that salad. 
Um, I get nervous about TV shows. Reminds me of how they did Hercules dirty from the movie to TV show. That was bad. Yeah, okay, so Jens really likes this game. Cool, yeah, I'm excited to see what it's like. I mean, I know the overwhelming majority, the overwhelming feedback to this game is positive, so we'll see, we'll see. So, Hercules TV show. So I remember as a kid loving all those TV shows, like the Aladdin TV show, I think Hercules 2, um, what else? Um, Tarzan had a TV show. So I don't know how they hold up, but as a kid, I was all about this. I'm a very generous liker. Except for, I don't know why, but that, that picture doesn't do it for me. Uh-oh. Now what, game over? You gonna charge our battery? It's very cool. So like this reminds me kind of like of our conversation about the cost of recovery, about these, you know, narrative non-action games, um, but these mini games, right? How do you incorporate gameplay into story? And even something like this, you know, we're tapping our music notes here. Oh, this is beautiful. I just got my daughter a book about music and how about how music changes you, like when you when you hear music for that first time. And they also represent it like this, with like floating. I think we can all like, this is a flow state, right? We can all identify with that. Oh, here we go. The background color scheme changes so seamless. Interesting. The artwork changed and the voice actors. Oh, 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 the artwork change in the voice actors were bad. I'm referring to the Disney movie show. Okay, I had to think, I was like, talking about Florence? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. Like, as a kid, I didn't catch that, but I'm curious, maybe I can, if it's on Disney Plus. I also love the Buzz Lightyear TV show, Buzz Lightyear of Star Command. In memory, that was fantastic. Okay, now we're flipping again. Are we flipped in? We made it through act two, so I like that. Um, I, is that gonna be our love interest, that guy playing the music? Yes, yeah, Nick, yours, yeah. The background color scheme is about Florence, the bad art is about Disney. <laughs> gotta keep, we have too many conversations going on. We gotta keep it straight. Uh-oh, don't crash your bike. Oh, there's the dude. What is this? Oh, we're, we're, we're focusing in. Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. These mini games are so creative. Oh, she crashed her bike because she wasn't looking. I started the show on Netflix uh, with my wife last night. It's called One Love. If anyone else is watching it, I thought it was super interesting. It's about like what if you could send your DNA in and find your one true like match. That's what they claim at least. It, it was really, really cool. It felt like, uh, it's a whole series, but it felt like a Black Mirror episode. That's so cool, I love this. This is also so creative, like, for them to think of like, how can we convey this story and these emotions? Just 
like a simple gameplay mechanic like that. Krish. Never heard that name before. Yeah, so I think you like go through their entire relationship, which is really interesting. Oh, wow, look at this. See, this to me is fascinating. Like, this is the art of conversation, right? Doesn't it kind of feel like this sometimes, especially when you're on like that first date kind of mood? You know, you're like struggling to say the perfect thing to like fit it into the right. I think this is really cool. And you're like, nailed it. Right, because it's not like, it's not, once you develop a relationship, then conversation is just completely seamless. Sometimes in the beginning, that's not the case. You're a little bit more nervous. And here you go, I already think, I think it's, it's getting easier. Oh, brilliant, it's brilliant. Super brilliant. Yeah, oh, that's so cool. Maybe it's the food, you know? Maybe just good food makes conversation easier. Super easy now, we're getting to one piece. Yo, I, th I think a kiss is coming on here, guys. Oh, sweet, I like that. Enos, it'll be interesting to hear like why this game didn't particularly grab you because you're a hater of love. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but no, also like that you're in kind of the game design world. Um, you know, what, what you liked about it, what you didn't. I'd be interested to talk about it with you. Music is such a great thing. Um, also, what a great tool for like romance. I play guitar and when I was interested in my wife uh, before we were dating in college, I remember she texted me one night like, hey, like, are you around or something like that? And I was not, um, but I like popped up in like cool college. I mean, I grabs his guitar and just has it on his back. And then when I went to meet her, I was like, oh yeah, just walking around, have my guitar. And then I like played her guitar. It was like so cheesy and stupid, but hey, you know, whatever. You gotta use whatever tools are at your disposal. So this guy's using the cello. These are like the game, I love. This is like the perfect game to stream also. Because we can have these like fun conversations, what memories it makes us think of. And it's like not too intense. It's not intense, right? It's not intense at all yet. I was thinking of maybe for my impact reviews, because I'll probably, I think I'll do a review of this game. Um, wouldn't be too, too hard. Uh, at the end, maybe just like, it's fun to rank things. Like, cause I'm not giving games a score. So it would be interesting like to rank my, my games like on, you know, which they're all impactful usually by the time I get to doing them a review. But like, you know, where does this rank, you know, versus kind words or something like that. Aww, that's awesome. That's awesome. Like changing how you see yourself. That's so cool. 
Now she's happily sleeping. Inspiration. Hmm. It looks like my room. Okay, not quite this bad, actually. All right, so he's like inspired uh, to clean up his life a little bit. What? I like the action figure. Get your socks. But this is what I need to do to my room. There are way too many clothes on the floor. I think Florence is coming over. This is my room, it's always this clean. Oh, what do we got? Academy of Music. Uh-oh. Is one moving? Uh, oh, I have to pull it out. Student application. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. Literally pushing him there. Well, I'm definitely going to recommend this game to people, especially if, if they don't typically play video games. Because this gives you, you know, you get that game, you get those game mechanics, but it gives you, it shows you the power of a game, right? It shows you the power to deliver a story, to build empathy, all these things. Oh, I gotta shake it. I heard you're actually not supposed to shake Polaroid pictures. Do we know where we're living? Can we tell by this map? I mean, like... I'm not sure. Art gallery. This is cool. I'll, I mean, like, yeah, I'm not going to keep, like, telling stories of my own relationship, but it's definitely, like, I could definitely, I definitely relate to a lot of these moments, which is, which is really cool. <laughs> I'm just nervous for the inevitable heartbreak that I know is coming, right? It has to be coming. So cute. Oh, I like that. It reminds me, it's my wife's birthday next week and I have to order a present. Thank God for Amazon Prime, you know. I think this is the coolest mechanic that they've done. Oh, now we're getting some insight into his his process a little bit. Oops. Also, like I want to be doing this quickly. Like I don't think it actually matters, but like I I want to be doing that. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. The, the pieces are becoming more jaded also. Yeah, pointy. Mm -hmm. There's like a 30 Rock episode of like why you don't go to Ikea with your significant other. It's like where couples go to die. Maybe it's the same at a grocery store. Oh no, now it's a race. And like now, like you're racing, like you're not listening to each other. It's really interesting. Someone's got to be the first to bend. It's always the hardest thing to do. That was nice.
This is great. I love that this is on my phone now, and I can show this to people. I like. I don't really do much mobile gaming, so. But this is kind of neat. I'm not used to that. Like, hey, check out this cool game. Are we moving in together. What's going on here? All right, you go to storage. New cool shoes. Um, flip flops. These. Boom. Whoa. Sorry. Boom. Boom. Oh. Keep our slippers, you know? Okay, okay. We got a new toaster. It's nice and gold. Um, got some spices here. What else do we got? Oh, that looks like a pan. Pot. Coffee maker. We need, we need a coffee maker. Let's put it. Uh, let's put this in storage. Some nice ketchup. Oh, ketchup. Got that. Well, this is an old one. Let's get in with out with the old, in with the new. Listen, it's not like the most organized kitchen in the world. Okay, these little thingamajigs, whatever this is, my wife wanted to register for one of these so badly, and I was like, what What are we gonna cook with it? What are we gonna make with these? She always teases me that I didn't let her register for that. Um, so, so, no, we're not getting one of these. Oh my God. New toothbrush. Where's that go? Here. This is a very messy bathroom. Okay, we're moving in. We're moving in. We need a place for my board. Oh, can I take that back? Okay. Um, record player. That's pretty cool. We don't need that owl, really. Let's just say bye to the teddy bear for now. And maybe, ooh, I like that. That's, I like this guy. He put that away initially. Ah, I like him. Eat you. Oh, no. It's cricket. Oh, it's so nice. He's got very hairy legs. That's my takeaway. Top takeaway from Florence. Boyfriend's got hairy legs. What's his name? Oh. Aww. It's always the thoughtful presents that are the best. <laughs> Critics are raving. He's got very hairy legs. And a hairy chest. Lawrence is eating very quickly. <laughs> They're just like looking right in their eyes as they eat. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. Why are we crying though? Yeah, whatever you send back, I'm sending back triple. Oh my, this is so cool. Oh wow, look, it's automated. It's not mundane anymore. It's just like on autopilot, things are good. This so, to me, like captures that feeling. I love it so much. Just speed munching, that's right. Speed cooking, speed munching, just stare, everything they do, just staring into each other's eyes. It's true love. She does paint a lot of pictures of him, though. He's got good hair. I'll give him that. He's got good hair all, all over his body. Uh, yes, a good relationship is you can never, you can never look away, right? Not for one second. No, not exactly. But in the beginning. Uh-oh, 
so here we go. We're getting into routine a little bit. One year later. Things are looking a little more gray. Routine is such an interesting concept because it's something that like everyone can really relate to. And there's something good about it, for some people also, maybe more so, and then there's something just not great about it. <sighs> Sorry, just adjusting my seat here. Oh boy. So like I always think about, just like life in general, is like very much just like ups and downs. There's constant ups and downs, and you gotta, you know, ride the downs so that you know that soon you'll be riding the ups. We did not answer mom's call. Okay, now we'll answer. Third time's a charm. Did she not tell her mom about him? Uh, did I play when the past was around? Because Florence really reminded me of that, both visually and with him playing the cello. No, what what is that game? Is that what consoles? Uh, what what um, platform is that one? Let's be fair. Florence came out first. I just played it second. I'm gonna write it down. I love this. I love getting recommendations. When the past was around. Interesting. Here we go. Now we're eating, but we are not. We're looking at the TV. Is, is like I think some people don't realize like that when you get to those downs like that's when like you, that's when you have to put the most effort into like you know and, and then you shoot it back to the ups it's kind of how I always think about it hmm oh this is sad because now before we were coloring it the gold and now we're sort of erasing it oh man I knew this was coming. I knew it was. I was not looking forward to it. Uh, it's also on Steam. I guess other platforms too. It has this beautiful drawn style. It also built on emotions, but more surreal. And the puzzles there are a bit more hidden object-ish. Cool. I will check it out. I'm always like hesitant. I'm always like at resistance when like something's on Steam. But just because I don't have a super powerful computer, but I'm sure my computer could play a game like this. You know what I mean? So there's our paint that we got, and sort of getting stacked up upon. Yeah, it's definitely relatable. It's definitely relatable. Fights are like just the hardest things. They really are. When my wife and I just aren't on the same page, it just like, it just destroys everything. It just like wrecks the day. Oh, and look, this isn't fitting. Oh, there we go. Sometimes the sad things in video games are worse when you know they're coming. Oh my God, gaming morning show. What are you doing making my day? Holy moly. Ah, Albex. Kirkery, thank you for being here. Welcome to the care team, guys. Hold on, drop the phone, drop the mic. This is just, you guys are too good to me. 
You guys are too good to me. Um, gaming Morning Show, I've talked about in, in the Digital Doc Discord a little bit. Look, it's Mike O. Welcome to the stream. Um, what a fantastic place to hang out in the morning. It's where I spend my mornings. If you're not following Gaming Morning Show, go follow them right now, led by the one and only Hefty Goof, uh, Sports Doc Gaming, Look, it's Mike O. I am on early. I'm, I'm, I'm playing with the schedule. I'm, I'm playing with it. We're seeing what's going on. Um, but wow, if this allows me to connect with GMS a little bit more, maybe we'll make this a... No, this is, this is wonderful. Good morning. Guys, all my friends are here. Mr. Fishy McFish, welcome to the Digital Doc Care team. Um, this is so wonderful. This is so wonderful. Guys, today, so I try to do impactful gameplay streams. If you, if you know GMS, you know a little bit about me, um, but, but that's the idea is to what games give us the feels? What games can we take something away from? Can we learn something from? from? So if you don't know Florence, Florence is a critically acclaimed mobile game. I think it's also on the Switch. Um, sort of walks you through, I'm, I'm, I mean, I didn't really know what it was about before I started, but walks you through a, a relationship um, from beginning to, well, well, we'll see where this goes. Um, but it's, it's working for me. I'm feeling the impact. Um, Nintendo nerds, I warned people before we raided to get your tissues ready with Florence. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for sure. And also, just like shout out again to the Gaming Morning Show. I was I was there before I started my stream today, um, dealing with a very important topic today. A lot of respect for you guys for putting sort of the entertainment, so to speak, on pause um, to talk about the important uh, world events that that are unfolding around us and to shine a light on that. Um, so guys, go go check them out. Um, Chris and me, oh my God, welcome to the stream. Who else is here? Wow, this is this is wonderful. So guys, all right. Here we go. One really cool thing about this game is the way they do conversations. So conversations, it's, a, it's an art, right? It's a puzzle uh, to be able to, to figure out you know, how fast you can respond. And, and in the beginning in the relationship, it was really hard to get those words out. Um, there were a lot of puzzle pieces. As they started, it became more comfortable. The puzzle pieces shrink in quantity, and it became easier to have this dialogue. Now we're in the middle of a fight, so you guys joined at a hard time. <laughs> Get the tissues ready, uh, as Nintendo nerds say. Um, so the pieces are more are more edged, right? They're bulkier. Um, the conversation is happening faster. You see that? See, we got we got these points here. Before they were more rounded, more gentle. So it's a really interesting game mechanics of how this is working. Um, Oh my God, Chrissy Icky! Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the care team. And now, and now it's almost like a race. And we are, we got tears. We got tears here. And I, you know, the thing about this game is, is, and why I love it, and what makes an impactful game to me is, on so many levels, the happy, the bad, the sad, I am connecting to this game. I think anyone who's been in a relationship um, will connect to this game. I think it's like four bucks on, on mobile. And that is like the worst feeling in the world, right? Post fight with someone you love. That is the worst feeling. It, it, it just rocks you. You can't get anything done. Everything is gray, just like Florence is experiencing. And I can't remember the boyfriend's name, but we like to call him Hairy Legs. Yeah, I love Nintendo Nerd says I love how the mini games are so expressive and emotional. The mini games is really cool, um, and yeah, it, it's a really interesting game. I, I think yeah, it's just an interesting game mechanics. Like, how do you take a story and turn it into a game? We're, we don't have any action. There's no shooting gear, and that's why some of this um, you know narrative non-combat games, these walking simulators, are some of my favorite games to play on stream actually. Oh, we're testing our, our puzzle skills here. Oh wait, Florence is on the left. Guys, what, what side of the bed are you, you know? I'm a left side of the bed kind of guy. Wait, but that, no, maybe? Wait a minute, what? Okay, let's build Florence first, there we go. There's Florence. I see our hairy legs. Yeah, I think we got this backwards here. But it doesn't fit, or, or is that the point that it doesn't fit together? So you wouldn't think they'd be looking at each other. Yeah, it doesn't fit together, there you go. Really, really interesting puzzle mechanics. There's no solution there. 
<laughs> it's a hall of Harry L. Legs. That is his full name. Harry Louis Legs. I love what what, what, what remains of Edith Finch. That was awesome. Um, yeah, so, so it's unclear to me if this was published by the people who made What Remains of Edith Finch. Um, I just put up part two of my playthrough of that game on YouTube, which you can check out. Red Derp is getting her heart broken. Yeah, Edith Finch was awesome. So that's what we played two weeks ago, I think. Um, I have, that that game stuck with me. Uh, like, like almost in not a good way. Like I, there were, there were scenes in that game about babies and kids um, not having good outcomes. And that that's, a, that's really hard for me as someone with like a baby and a kid. Published by the same company, Annapurna, developed by a different company, but everything Annapurna has released is a banger, says Nintendo Nerds. Yeah, so I'm just gonna have to dive more into their games. Yeah, also like shout out Nintendo Nerds, um, really, really fantastic streamer here on Twitch. Just master of all things Nintendo. And everyone, I mean, everyone in the GMS community is just so wonderful. It's such a cool, you know, before this year, before COVID, before digital.games, you know, I didn't like dive into these online communities. And I'm just so thankful that I, I, I did. Guys, this is tough. Now, here we go. I really hope they work things out here. I don't want to see a breakup. I really don't. And how they use color in this game. Oh wait, and music. My uh, cognitive processing is on full display here. Oh no, see, it's not, it's not letting me win. And that is always an interesting thing when a game doesn't let you win because it's frustrating for a gamer. Games are supposed to be won. And there's nothing more frustrating when a game doesn't let you, when it takes that away from you. Kentucky Route Zero, was that also by Anna Purna? I've heard so much about that game. Yeah, no, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you, I'm glad that uh, we could experience this together. Moving out, that's it, that's it. They didn't solve this one. It's hard. I mean, I know breakups have to happen sometimes, right? Like, that, that breakups can be a good thing. Sometimes it's not right, but you always want them to be able to pull together. Conflict resolve, someone's got to step up to the plate, but I know sometimes it's not right. Are we taking his stuff? I think we're taking his stuff, right? Let's take our picture. Because it'd be kind of weird to take her shoes, but I, I think we're just, oh yeah, we're just taking his stuff. Uh, there we go. And this is safe just how I did it too. That's cool, like that's the, oh no, I didn't take this pestle. This is not the pestle I chose. Take my ketchup. I mean, I want to leave her with some stuff. She can have my coffee maker. Hey, Lady Karen Gal, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the care team. So glad to have you guys here. This is so fun. It's, the family's expanding right before our eyes. You know what I mean? And we're like blowing past our goal here, which is super, super awesome. This seems more like a game you experience, not a game you win, being taught a specific thing with interaction involved. Yes, this is not a game to win. This is a game you experience. And honestly, games today, I think like the best of them, like that's kind of, it's not about arcade win or lose anymore. It's not like, okay, you know, beat my high score. I mean, sometimes it is, and that and those can still be impactful, but like even my favorite games, like Uncharted, Last of Us, um, um, I don't know, whatever. So many games, 
Like, it's about that story. It is about that experience, it's about that connection, that emotion. The best thing that ever happens on this channel is when I can give a monologue and there's dramatic music in the background because in my head, that makes it so much better. It's like, it doesn't matter what I say, it's just smart. <laughs> Nintendo Nerd says, it's one of the absolute worst feelings in the world to know you love someone, but you're not right together. Ooh, that's hard. I, um, that's actually, I, yeah. That's, that's tough. I've never played a game that felt so much like the theater experience, which some people will not like, but I loved it. Lady Karen Gal says, for me, unless I can make great things and our experience a great storyline, I don't enjoy it. I think that's for me too. It's like story is above all else. Gameplay's right beneath it. And it's important too, like days gone, I did not enjoy that game as far as gameplay. It was such a drag and a stretch in my opinion, but the story was like just interesting enough to keep me pushing through for like 60 hours. <laughs> I totally regret it. I know some people really like that game, but that just shows you that like stories is the top for me. Wouldn't do it again though. Um, all right, let's continue packing up. That's hers. So sad, dude. I always, so I've never been in this situation, so I can't relate like personally, but I've had a lot of friends, you know, who've gone through bad breakups and things like that, um, long-term relationships ending. Um, it always just baffles my mind, like that switch of like a person that you go to talking with, texting with every single day to then all of a sudden like nothing, like you can't even speak. And literally you text to this person like every hour. Like that always, that, that, that's so crazy. What's just the crazy light switch? So wild. Um, Lady Karen Gell says, Ark has great gameplay and there's tons of lore, but it's frustrating that it doesn't tell you the, um, the story. There are even notes in the game in other languages, which is kind of rude. Very rude. The music is lovely. Yeah, yeah, music does such great things in games. Um, like, before I was so, like in high school, I always chose to wrote write my papers, like for creative writing class or whatever, either about the power of music or the power of games. So I guess Digital Doc Games very well could have become the Digital Doc, Digital Doc Tunes. Guys, by the way, I just, I just have to give a shout out to Red Derp here, and sorry if I'm not pronouncing that username right, but Enos, Enos Neumann from Off The Beat and Track is Red Derp. Um, she is a, a, um, working at the studio Off The Beat and Track and uh, if you want to learn more about their game, which is totally an impactful game called The Cost of Recovery, go check out on YouTube or podcasts, uh, Digital Doc Games. See the link there to hear more about that game. It's about a family uh, whose nine-year-old son suffers from a stroke and their experience. Um, so sort of in the same, you know, genre as something like Florence, What Remains of Edith Finch, That Dragon Cancer. Sorry, I had to say it, Venus. Um, that, those kind of games. Uh, so if, if you like Florence, it's a good chance you're going to like this game. So go check it out. Yeah, it was super interesting. Um, I loved getting to speak to, to Enos and Jens at Off the Beat and Track. Uh, some of my favorite interviews are, are developer interviews. Um, I, I said at the beginning of this, like, this is the kind of game that when I play this game, I want to know more about how it was made. So even though it's kind of old at this point, um, we'll see who knows. Maybe we can find them for an, an interview. That's the thing, like you go from like speaking to this person, like loving this person, like everything to like literally tearing them, erasing them from your life. It's so, it's just such an interesting thing. But I do remember I took in college, I took a class, uh, the psychology of interpersonal relationships. And I remember the one thing that I thought was interesting is that uh, the professor said people actually do recover from heartbreak and like traumatic relationship events quicker than they think they will, which is interesting. And before we kind of dodged our mom's calls, but now we're reaching out to her. <laughs> Very 
For a while, I couldn't sleep without music, and even if in a different language that I don't understand, it has a powerful message. I get chills. Music has so much power. Yeah, well, music and games are very similar in that way. Like, it's sort of a universal language. I mean, music for sure, um, but games can be too. This game, I mean, if you just translated it, like, text-wise, all the mechanics are universal. All the emotions are universal. That's interesting. The action in this part of the game is stopping. The auto is going, which is interesting. Because you would think it would be the opposite, but they're actually kind of wanting you to like, no, like I don't want to go, like I'm stopping, right? You keep on autopilot, that's when you start to forget. Red Derp says, yeah, knowing that the other does not want to be with you anymore while it is the worst feeling and first breaks your heart also somehow makes it easier to get over it, I think. Yeah, no, that's, that's definitely true. So today is a fun game for me, fun day for me, because I get to stream twice. I get to do this stream and then later um, trying out, there's a Games for Health conference, uh, which some experts in the industry talking about the future of games and healthcare. I'm going to do a watch along. So that's going to be at uh, 3 p.m. EST. If anyone's kind of curious about that, come check it out. So this was a present that Harry Legs uh, got for us. Love is sacrifice. Sometimes the greatest show of love is to let them go. That is true. Yeah, I've experienced that, I think, with friends. Like, the hardest thing for me is someone who always wants to help people. Um, it's, just, it's just something that's in my nature is that the, the biggest struggle for me was figuring out, like, you can't help someone. It's very hard to help someone who doesn't want to help themselves. And I've had experiences like that with friends where it's been really difficult and I've had to just, you know, I love these people, but I almost, you know, Thankfully, this hasn't happened too much, but I have to let them go because, like, that's that's the right act of love in that moment. But that is, oh gosh, that's a messy. Like, I say that, and I'm like not even 100% convinced. Like, it's messy. So here we go. I think we're starting. Uh, we're starting the path to recovery here. Yeah, that's true. Like this friend that I'm thinking of was a huge, huge part of my life and my childhood. Um, I still have like, he was an artist, I still have art hanging in my room that he made. Um, and I, I don't wanna get rid of it, cause like, that was like, those are good memories. Oh, this is cool, cause this is the same like mundane task that she did at her last job. And now it's for her own endeavor. And she did it with uh, Harry Legs paint, which is kind of sweet. Moving on. I will say this game did not take, did not shape out the way I thought it was going to be. Like I, I thought there'd be a breakup, um, but I think this might be the conclusion. Like I don't think they're getting back together. We'll see. Leaving our old job. Nintendo says, I have no regret about being in the long relationship in my life that have ended because they all teach me things and have made me into a better person. I've been lucky in that with my long-term relationships. Yeah, um, you know, the, what that makes me think of, um, a lot of people ask me if I could go back uh, in time before I went to medical school and like give myself some advice, what would I do? And medical school was great for me, but also really difficult for me. Obviously, I didn't continue with clinical practice afterwards. Um, so like, would I avoid that trauma? And I 
it's really hard, but like, it's kind of the same thing. Like, I wouldn't be who I am today if I didn't go through that. So I think it's probably the same thing with, with relationships, to your point. Krish. Krish. Harry K. Legs. Harry Krish Legs. So yeah, this is kind of what, what Red Derp is saying is that, um, you know, Florence is holding on to this past, this photo, and it's bringing her joy, even though it's of someone who's not in her life anymore, but, you know, he was. She's taking it with her, she's taking it with her. Wow, that's so cool to see, like, that's the, that's the popular opinion in the chat. I wouldn't change, Lady, um, Lady Karen Gala says, I wouldn't change a thing even after all I've been through, which baffles so many. Don't watch this footage and text your ex, y'all, Nintendo says. Yeah, I should have put that at the top. Don't text your ex. <laughs> Someone's going to. Someone's gonna do it, guys. Aww. Uh, I just watched this show on Hulu. That was the longest Hulu. Hulu. Uh, it's called Love Life, I think. It's with Anna Kendricks, and it's sort of similar to this game. Uh, it's about her journey, like, through all her different, you know, partners uh, to, to finding love. Um, recommend it. It was good. Yeah, I would say it's actually very similar to this game. And also, like, I relate to her journey of being at the mundane and then finding creativity and that just bringing so much color, like literally color, into your life. That was the one thing in med school that was really hard for me was um, to not have a creative outlet just because I was so busy and there wasn't time for that and that wasn't sort of the point of medicine, um, at least not medical school. So, like, doing this channel has, like, filled me with color because it's my creative outlet now. So like that's, I definitely relate with that. I think that's it guys. think dude I loved it I loved it I think like that was one of my favorite impactful games that I played and it was so different than anything that I've played hey so much thank you thank you so much I can't even speak I'm so over the moon um, Alvax thank you with the host uh, that's super super generous um, spelt wrong grit with a 10 out of 10s yeah, thank you guys for being here. I'm really glad I streamed this too. It's been on my mind for a while, and and guys, spelled wrong. Britt is the one who came in with the clutch and kind of helped me with this beautiful phone setup that we got here. Um, that was really great. So, what I want everyone to do is digest it. Okay, let's think about it. Um, if, if you just caught the end, uh, you can catch the VOD. Um, eventually, I'll, I'll put this up on YouTube as well, just the full playthrough. Um, let's think about it. Uh, if you want, guys, I have a, I have a Discord. Anyone who uh, wants is, whoa, it's a new Discord, um, is welcome to join. Uh, and we can and kind of reflect on this game. We can even make a channel for like reflection. Um, and, and I think what will come out of that is, is a review, an impact review, uh, talking about that in a little bit more detail. Uh, maybe some of your thoughts um, can come in that review as well.